Okay, we're on. So this video, Heather and myself, Edward, are going to be doing a psychic reading for the Twin Flame community for the Gemini New Moon uh, in May 2017, at the end of May. So you'd like to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Heather Aguilera. <laughs> I am the founder of Angel Divine Love. You find me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and we're just loving to spread this joy on this Gemini new moon. And um, yeah, let's see what, what what's in store for us. I Absolutely. Great. And I'm Edward Regasta. My YouTube channel is Medium Tarot TV. We're going to have our links below. And... I'm just going to start in with the uh, with my notes first. The theme healing song for this, for us, for the Twin Flame community, is Never Give Up by Sia. So that sounds more like a full moon song than a new moon song. So that's, that's hinting that we are finding our way back home, first within ourselves, and then we'll be helping our twin. That's what that's kind of like. Mm -hmm. um, alluding to. So Heather and I have started to do a monthly lottery where you get to ask us for the Twin Flame community once a month. So all you need to do is to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to Heather's YouTube channel. At the end of this video I'm going to have a link for both of our YouTube channels for you to subscribe and you get to ask us a personal question and it's answered privately in a video. And I'll probably have a link to the last one that we did uh, the first one, which was, I believe, titled Lesson Lesson of Being a Twin Flame, and then What If. What if that person cut themselves off from their twin and social media? All yes. right. Um, suggested viewing is Soul Union readings that Heather and I do. You can have that. You can purchase that separately or us together. I suggest together, so you get the male and the female point of view. But of course, it's up to you. We'll have the information below. And if you feel that our videos collectively or individually provide value to you, and if it feels right to you, you can send us a donation. I'll have those links below as well. And please keep in mind that please keep in mind that this is a general reading. And if you want something done more specific or personal, you know where to get in touch with us for a personal reading. All right. So anything you want to say before we start? No, I think we're good. Just, okay. Yeah, happy new moon, everybody. Mm, indeed. Okay, so you okay. can you can start. Go for it. Yes, so we would really want to start off with us, so the ones who are watching, the ones who are viewing, and tuning in into this. Um, there is, we're being asked, to kind of step into a little bit of self-discipline and, and our willpower. What are we putting in the wheel, you know? Um, what will you do next? What will you wheel? You know, we have free wheel. Um, so this is kind of the message that I'm feeling right now. And it's like, um, I, I know there are I can't, I am, I am statements. Um, so practice your I am statements. And... Um, you know, you can, we can move on, we can move forward, and then also stepping into more power. I will do this. I will succeed. I, you know, I am a success. You know, I will do this. I. So when you're saying this, they're telling me is like a kind of like a spell. Like I will. I'm putting my will to um, to succeed. I'm putting my will to union we will be in union so let's kind of that's that's kind of what i feel like this force and, and what I'm, what I'm hearing and feeling right now so if you want to add on to that oh absolutely but it, it's probably my inner child or the disney geek within me but i'm i when you were saying that i was getting the it was like it was like an engine an engine train. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And I don't know if that's from Dumbo or not. But anyway, that's what I saw. And then it's like before you know it, you you you're in progress. Okay, that's what I got from that. That was great. Yeah, it just felt like that. Yeah, I felt it. Yeah. So what I would like to add to that, which which was that was wonderful, is alignment. We are stepping into alignment. What type of alignment? Our Ego, 
mind, personality, and our heart and our soul is going to be aligning. That's what's happening. So these are very exciting times, and that's basically making sure that both are on board, on the same page. So we are to pay attention to see if our mind is in sync with our heart. Are we talking ourselves out of something, of doing something, and really letting our heart decide, resonating with our heart energy, our feelings? Mm -hmm. That's all I have to add to that, but that was great. Nice. Thank you. Um, so for our beloveds, they are, you know, they're, they're really nurturing themselves. And, and, and in this nurturing type of energy, I feel, <clears throat> which for them, it's like going a little bit more inside. Like I'm seeing, feeling like a, a baby um, energy, like, okay, like they're, maybe they're being more aware of this, like tenderness inside, um, inside of themselves and inside of others, you know, really wanting to, I just kind of feel like the soft energy, um, like fuzzy animals, like how would you treat a baby, like an animal, you know, you know, that feeling like, okay, hi, 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 baby, you know, and kind of like that. So I kind of feel like that's what they feel with this energy. They're feeling like that nurturing that like soft, I'm feeling like soft, warm and cuddly, um, towards the union. So um, that's what I'm feeling. Great. What I'll add to that is self-love. They're in the process of loving themselves so they can love us. But mm -hmm. you do need self-love to be in any type of healthy relationship, whether it be love, friend, business, doesn't matter. So they're in the process of opening up, in essence, their heart chakra, but opening up to what's possible in their life, which is really good. So they are figuring out that they are co-creators, that they create their own life so they can leave the door open for us to come in. So, you know, I <laughs> know, but it's all part of it. So this is very good. So as we do our alignment, they are opening up. So mm -hmm. we're not mm -hmm. like, again, you know, I, I forgot to mention in the beginning, but this is the Gemini new moon, right? Gemini. What a Gemini. The twins. Twin flames. So, this new moon and the next the next film... No, it's not going to be for Gemini. Never mind. Um, the Gemini, you know, new moon or full moon are very special for us, for twin flames. So, again, everything we do, we assist them. So, let's keep that in mind. Mira. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay, so we have... Going on our side again, so we're going to kind of bounce back and forth here. There is, for us, there is a new opportunity as far as our life, um, changing your life. So there's like maybe be a change in direction and, and a really a new opportunity for us to take. This could be career wise and just, I'm feeling this like, like really optimistic feeling of like, yes, this is, this is the direction I'm going in. This is where I'm headed. It feels good. It's a... Uh, like spiritual guidance, I feel, as well. So, Okay, sure. great. Um, yeah, the word that I would use in one word would be opportunity. So let's take that with the energy before of alignment. As we do our alignment, spirit, universe, higher self, whatever you want to call it, spirit guides, will present something to us. Now, do we take it? Do we not? That's free will. But something is being presented to us as an opportunity for us to, I, I don't like to use the word control, but it is take control of our life, our path. And again, we are helping them as well, but sometimes we have to be the bigger man or woman, what can I tell you, and, um, and lead the way. And actually with the energy before it, we are leading the way, quite frankly. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, the, I just want to say one more thing. I'm very sorry. Um, you know the saying of don't put the horse before the cart? Well... We're we're getting the horses ready. That's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, on their side, I I kind of feel that they're in a place, you know, where they do see that they need to love themselves, and where they do see their patterns and things that aren't serving them. Um, where they're seeing things 
this situation. They're seeing things for how what it is. And, you know, kind of being honest with themselves. And this is what we really want them to do. They're being honest with themselves because we are. We are being honest with ourselves. We're seeing ourselves. And, okay, I'm holding this. I, I need to forgive this. You know, we're seeing that. And so it is reflecting in them. And they are finally, they're receiving that energy on, like, okay, like this, I need to change, or I do this. So they're seeing, they're having that, um, what is it, self-awareness more, more like I kind of feel. So if you want to add to that. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. That was great. So I see this energy as one of two things. Number one, if they've had a, con excuse me, even I can't even get the words out here. Cheers. If they've had a controlling person in their past or present, that's why I couldn't even get the words out. They are coming aware of that. They are being aware of that and seeing the influence that that person had on them. Okay? That's number one. Number two, this is definitely self-realization, self-awareness. This is, this is them getting their shizit together, basically, quite frankly. Of them taking more, I don't like to say control, but alignment of their life and knowing now what they need to do to get on track or back on track. And it is very much of a mental attitude. Very positive, though. Yes. Clarity. Mental clarity. If I had to put it in one word, that's what I would say. Mental clarity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so on our side, um, we are really being part of a team. We're being uh, like this... This, I kind of feel like a creative energy creating something. Um, you know, we do have this like movement going forward and new opportunities coming our way. And then us seeing things like, okay, can I create? What can I create from here? Um, I, I'm being reminded there was there was something that had I had said, and it was oh, about creating about um, I can't think right now on this. What, it doesn't want to come out. It's here, but it doesn't want to come out. Um, I would say just keep going because it will eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just kind of feel like a teamwork. Um, there's, there's, you know, there's money involved, and this is going to create, um, have a creation, have some creation sparking within you. A lot of the times, too, in the Twin Flame, um, in the twin flame connection, when we start creating, when we start really stepping out, stepping up into life purpose, stepping really into that like groove of, yes, this makes me happy. This is what I like to do for a living. Um, this makes me feel good. It really shifts things in them. And this reading is showing like we are there, we're in that energy and we are creating that. Um, and yeah, it, it's definitely happening. So. Okay. So whatever you were going to say, I think it's going to come back before we finish, by the I way. Think so. come yeah, back. it happen it happens to me all the time when we channel. Okay, so now now we're stepping into alignment. We have an opportunity, and what do we get next? What if? Okay? So this is what I call the sense of security within, which is vital for manifesting. Self-worth, self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence. Now, what's going to come up first? Fear. Okay? Expect it. I know that sounds negative, but expect it. By the way, the most successful people on the planet have fear. So it's not something that, you know, is a negative thing. But the thing is, do we let the fear stop us or do we cut through it? Of course, we want to cut through it. So acknowledge that when it comes up. And we're going to know for ourselves what's best for ourselves, and that's going to assist our twin, and we're not going to talk ourselves out of it, right? Right. So that's all I have to add to that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's still not coming. <laughs> that's okay. It will eventually. Don't worry. It was like right there. But that's yeah. all right. It will. All right. So on our beloved side, um, I, I could just kind of think they need to stop procrastinating with some things. Like... They do see the things there. Maybe they don't know how to do the inner work completely. Um, and, and there's like a decision that I feel that they're going to need to be making um, soon. And there's certain, I'm just getting like, there's certain things within their 
chakra system that needs to be cleared out, okay? A great question in meditation to ask your beloved is, what is it that we need right now? Or, or what is it that's blocking, you know, any of the chakras um, and clearing that? This is really important right now. This is what I'm seeing. And um, yes, that's what I'm getting as far as that, the clearing and the, and the connection that needs to happen. Okay, go ahead. Okay, great. I, I see this energy as choices and options. So they're in the process of weighing things out. Now, they're learning to love themselves so they can love us. They're learning to see what influences the people around them have on them. And they're stepping into their own strength and essence. And now they have choices and options more than they thought they did. So as we do our work and our alignment, we're helping them make the proper choice for themselves, which is an essence for us as well. That's all I have to add to that. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so as the two come together, we have, things are going to be speeding up. I feel very, very quickly. Um, there's going to be a lot of solutions happening as far as the twin flame goes, um, the ones that are watching. They, I, I just feel like there's going to be a lot of decision making that needs to happen pretty quickly for us. Um, I also feel like just, I feel that energy. I still feel that energy moving forward that, that like, yes, I can, I am, I will, I, this is happening, you know, really shifting that is, it's, it is happening and not to give up. And, you know, all these moon energies, what they do for us each month is just like they're assisting us in moving forward and that forward action, that forward movement really taking us, taking us to that place we need to be with, um, with, with a quickness. I kind of feel like it's kind of feels like it's going to happen quickly. Okay. All right. Great. Yeah. Uh, I see this as, um, as a mental shift. So talk about, you know, getting on your high horse and going for it. So as we do our stuff, that's going to lovingly shove them to do their stuff, what they need to do. And this is also the energy that I attribute to thoughts of aggravation or strife or joy rapture. So is the joke. So stuff is going to come up. All right. Expect it. We'll go right through it. We'll cut through it like knife to a butter. That's what our mind's going to do. Like, you know what? You've prevented me in the past. In the past, I am not going to let you stop me now from going for my alignment, my opportunity. I'm not going to let my sense of security stop me. And they are going through self-love, mental clarity, and making better choices and decisions for themselves, in essence, for us as well. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, so... This is some really good energy that we are both stepping into. And, you know, as we're, they're coming together and everything that I kind of feel for the whole reading as far as us and, and then them, what they're going through, it's all, you know, we mirror each other. So it is all really working nicely. Um, sometimes it might not feel so nicely. So we may need to, um, you know, move on from certain things and, and let go, um, and there could be some more releasing to do as far as that goes, as we are stepping forward. Like, like I would said, you know, there's things that need to be released, things that are going to be coming up. And, you know, of course we have both energies and, and if they're stuck in a way, in a place, like if they're stuck, usually you could tune into your body, tune into the connection and really feel that, feel that, which is stuck. You know, if, if you just tune into the, the aura or the energy body, um, you can really tune into that and see what's that, see what needs to be um, released. I, I was in, the reason why I bring this up is because my guys are reminding me of this morning I was in meditation and, um, and I asked a question, what is, what's blocking our, our, what's blocking the communication right now? You know, because there's been a little bit of that happening and I said, being, um, what do I need to do to clear this between us or what needs to happen? I asked. 
that was it. What needs to happen between this this um, communication? And my twin said, um, clear. And as soon as he said clear, and I said clear to our higher selves, I seen this like, um, this energy that's just like puff smoke, just leaving our energy. And some of it was pretty dark. It kind of looked like that squid ink that needed to be cleared. So there's a lot of answers that we can get as twin flames in meditation and to assist us in releasing this, assist us, whatever is blocking that in the union, blocking that, if there's any debris or something that needs to be released, um, meditation is a great way to do that. So, um, and yeah, it's just great. Yeah, absolutely. So the, what I would say this is coming down to is Scorpio energy. So to me, that represents out with the old, in with the new. So that means we're releasing our past. We're coming into alignment, stepping into our power. We're assisting them. There's a lot of clearing going on, as with Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy is a tribute to, and don't worry if you're not familiar with astrology, I'll explain it real quickly, the planet Mars and the planet Pluto. We're connecting with the planet Mars, which is action, impetus, drive to move forward, the warrior, okay? No matter what we are, male, female, whatever, whoever, with the warrior, okay? And they're connecting to the energy of Pluto, which is transformation, transfiguration. So we're connecting very nicely, but there is a little bit of muck that will come to the surface first. So that could be fear, that could be anger, that could be resentment, whatever. Just don't let it, don't let it um, prevent the connection. That's what I say. We all have our moments, but let's just not stay there. So that's what I have to add to that. Good. Cool. So, um, yeah, everybody, this has been a really great reading. Um, you know, I think it's really cool because you get two different types of readers and, um, it, it's, it's really, I don't know very much about astrology, but Edward is really great with that. So it could really explain, you know, everything that's happening right now and the clearing and what's coming up. So it does make sense that we do need to go into some extra clearing right now as far as Twin Flames go. So, so many blessings to you, and I wish you so much on this new moon. Um, whatever you're trying to manifest, let's do that. So um, if you like this reading and you want to contribute to what we have going here, we have donation buttons below. So click on the show more button and we'll Absolutely. be Absolutely, and please subscribe to our channels so you know what we're up to. And if you enjoyed Resonate It with this energy message, please like, share, subscribe. So it's greatly appreciated. So. Yes. Happy new moon blessings, and um, let's go for it. Let's get on a high horse and, and go for it. That's what I say. All right. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and we'll see so you real soon. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you.